This introductory project was designed to show you the basics of Swift data. So you've met models, you've met model containers, model context, queries, sort descriptors, predicates, relationships, and more. Now, each of these things have significantly more power that can be shown in a small tutorial like this one, but I hope you at least appreciate how powerful Swift data is and how it makes even complex things easy. Now, the whole rest of my book, Swift Data by Example, is designed to show off so much more of the power of Swift data. But you should also keep in mind, it's just going to keep growing and growing and growing as it matures in the future. Now, one of the best ways to really learn is to make sure you actually write your own code as much as possible. So I want to give you three ways you could try your new Swift data knowledge to make sure you really understand what's going on here. First, try and add swipe to delete for individual sites. Second, use an array of sort descriptors to initialize your editing, uh, your listing list view, this one here. Not just one, but a whole array. With the first one being the user's choice, so they chose priority or date or name, but the second one being a sensible alternative. So it's priority they've chosen, but then name hi hi uh, hidden afterwards. And third, add a second picker to this toolbar in the top bar up here. So user can say, show me all destinations, only ones that are in the future. 